Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with another unboxing. And I am actually even surprised that I have these shoes because I think that these might be the most hyped shoes this year. And we can't really understand it. And I'm gonna talk about that and give you my honest review as a anti-hype beast. So these are the Air Jordan 1 High Dark Mocha. Uh, they're even called High OG. And uh, of course we get the whole thing that they are very similar in colors to the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s that were released last year. Uh, so people call them the Poor Man Travis or Poor Man Cactus or whatever. Uh, and I can understand that. But most of us non-hype non beast people actually prefer these. Uh, I have seen, before we got to see the shoe, when we only got the color, uh, color code, uh, there were two mock-ups made, and I'm going to show you pictures of that, maybe in the video, but at least in the blog post. Uh, where they looked like these, but with brown instead of black, and I think I preferred that. And um, then we had a, another one that were only sail white with brown swoosh and brown uh, linen maybe. So these shoes, these shoes are the most hyped general, general release shoes I have uh, come upon in, I don't know, maybe ever. I don't know actually what uh, qualifies as a general release in, in, today uh, because all Jordans are released in the sneakers app these as well but general release is probably when you get them in some stores that uh, doesn't get the hyped shoes so to say and these shoes were released in many quantities I've heard something about a half a million pairs, and I think there is more actually. And the stores that had them, people, at least in Sweden, uh, people were available to buy uh, many pairs, not per person, but in the family, any size, whatever. So I call it a general release, and uh, they are crazy hyped. Not with the prices, maybe the prices go for like, double the retail to maybe three times the retail depending on the size of course but people are crazy about them people ask about them all the time and we got them pretty late here in sweden we got them last saturday i think you guys in us got them like at least a full month before maybe two even so the shoe skip all the hype what do i think about the shoe well, the brown, the dark mocha, is a lot darker than I thought. I would say dark green. I was hoping they were going to be uh, brown, like these. You see, uh, I think this is, this is mocha also. So I thought they were going to be more brown. They are not. The suede is nothing in particular. Uh, I wouldn't even call it suede. It's uh, brushed leather. Uh, the leather, the sail white leather that are usually always great and we don't know why. But every time a sneaker is in this sail white color, the leather is wonderful. And here there is nothing special at all. Uh, the side seems to be a little bit softer than the toe box. These are gonna crease a lot. I don't care about that at all. And the black is your typical pleather. Maybe a little bit softer than your typical pleather. Uh, but uh, this is a shoe that shouldn't cost, what did we pay here in Sweden? I think we paid $190 or even more because of the tax rate, or oh, sorry, the value rate. So these cost 190 or 180 euro, and now I think that is like 210 dollars. 
this should be your standard Air Jordan 1 that usually cost, I don't know what, what would do the cost anymore, 160 euro maybe? But don't get me wrong, it's a nice looking shoe. I love the sail white, the off white. I love that color. Uh, I like the brown, I wish it would be more brown. And I think it's gonna, going to get a nice patina uh, with a little bit scratches and wear. But I'm glad that it's sail white and not just standard white. And the black, yeah, in hand, I like it. But since I have seen the model, and I'm not talking about the Travis Scott shoe, since I've seen the mock-up where we have brown, black swoosh, I think, and brown toe, uh, those, looks, those look great. And the off-white on those, or that creamy, uh milk coffee really nice so but we never got those so we, that was just a mock-up and uh, these are nice i'm glad to have them i don't understand the hype and i think the hype is going to die out very quickly because people understand pretty soon that it's a shoe that are widely widely available so the most important thing is that the quality is your standard Air Jordan 1. The tongue isn't, isn't any usual plush or something. It's just thin as, thin as always. Uh, leather is nothing special. The suede, I wouldn't even call it suede. But the colors are nice. Uh, black is shiny. The sail white is nice. These are these are dirty, but this leather, this is the best Air Jordan 1 ever. And they are not quite that color, but still nice. And I don't have too much more to say about them. You have seen a bunch of videos from all the other high beasts just loving the shoe. And uh, I'm glad to have them. If the Travis Scott shoe and this one were the same value, I would absolutely choose this one because I really don't like that reverse swoosh. I do like that the Travis Scott has a brown toe as well, but that reverse swoosh, it, it messed it up for me. So let's put them on, see how they are in size. It is an Air Jordan 1, it should be true to size. I don't think there should be anything wrong with that. And we have the white laces and the black laces, and that's it. And I think I would like to see them with the pink laces that we got on the Travis Scott. Uh, the very light pink laces. But I think I'm going to put on, I don't know, I'm going to Google some pictures. I'm unsure about the black or the white. What did you choose uh, on your uh, dark markers if you have them? And if you don't have them, are you willing to pay retail for them? Uh, do you think that they are worth retail? Do you think they are worth the hype? It's a good looking shoe. The quality is uh, medium, standard, nothing special at all. Um, it's just that the color codes reminds us of the Travis Scott shoes. And uh, I like the colors, I like the natural colors. I just thought they were going to be more on the brown side than the green side. On foot. I chose black laces because I think the shoes look more uh, adult, more classy with the black laces than with the white laces. And uh, I thought of the black toes, which I really think should have black laces. So. And if they are not true to size, I would be very surprised and very disappointed. But so far, so good. I may just have tied them up a little bit. Yeah, I went too tight.
but except from me tying them too tight they are absolutely true to size and feel quite comfortable right away uh, as i've said in my earlier videos for you three percent that aren't new i actually like it when we have this harder leather what i call pleather uh, because the, it makes the shoe much more sturdy and I like that the only thing that I don't like is when you walk and uh, the harder leather cuts in in your big toe uh, the softer leather does not do that so Air Force 1 and, and the bad Air Jordan 4 always do that but they look good really good they look classy they look almost high-end stylish yeah true to size uh, use as it should be and uh, the most hyped GR general release ever and one of the most hyped sneakers of all of 2020 and I'm happy to have them thanks for watching Please subscribe, it would be super cool if I could reach 2,000 subscribers before New Year's Eve, but I don't think so. Thanks for watching, thumbs up.